Hi guys, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in next lecture of lecture number 6 of Civil 3D. In this particular video, I am going to draw a vertical alignment over here. So for that, you need to select the curve. Okay, then you can go over here or you can just select the profile instead of curve. Click on a profile creation tool. Provide a profile name as a vertical curve. Okay, oh, sorry, curve. Then it is my existing ground profile, right? Then go to design criteria, select this, select the civil 3D Indian content, right? RCSP3 I'm selecting, okay? Which provide me the minimum K table, click on OK. As usual, horizontal, we'll getting the same tool for the vertical also. Select the draw tangent with curves, okay? And start drawing your curve make sure you will be start from here and end at the same point that like means the ending point of the this over here you need to end okay so based on this you need to add so what you have to do just start from here okay i'll be putting like this okay so here definitely the crest and sac curve will generate and you need to monitor that one okay okay there is some issues when we are talking about the you know the indian road uh, uh, country kit because it don't show the curve after sudden next curve okay so that is the big issue over here so you need to just select that one and after that we we will draw the curves okay and we'll be end over here that's it now you can see there is definitely some you know issues over here okay right this issues there is a one curve we need to add okay here we need to add one curve so that are the curve we need to add so what we can do we are going to add one curve over here okay one curve over here first of all so what we can do just go over here okay select the with parabola okay select this one select this one and then select the point and just stretch it down okay because it is a crest curve and will be stretching it down now you can see select this alignment go to over here and you can see we want the minimum k value this much okay so it means that we want something like this okay so curve radius is a uh, uh, 707.81 right minimum k is 60 minimum like for passing side distance minimum k for stopping side distance is 32 and we have provided the 7 it means we need to change the profile curve so what we can do okay we need to change this we will we can increase this 60 so it will increase my k value so we need to increase this particular because it is a crest, crest curve okay so what we have to we need to increase this particular profile curve length so make it as a 250 okay it is not greater than take, not taking so we what we have to do is okay minimum k value we need to inform so we need to provide minimum as a 32 let put as a 32 okay so it is not taking just increase the length then okay 100 right 14 okay it will automatically save our data so make sure you need to your based on your profile curl and it will automatically calculate okay 150 it is not taking much more than that okay so what we can do we need to change the grade let's increase the let's provide only minus one and we will see the changes okay so it is a 16 can we change now 120 it's 19 it's make 150 okay it's not taking again so against 5 we can put the 3 okay so yes there is some changes over here so like this we need to inform minus 0 0.5 so based on this our all calculation will change okay 150 it will not taking let's try 130 okay it's increase let's put 140 okay it's 24 
okay so like that we need to do some all changes over here so we just considering that okay it is okay for me okay because it is more safer right so like this based on this particular criteria our all alignment because of civil 3d is work on the you know it's work on the dynamic model base that's why everything is changed now so this is what we have to make the changes over here so our vertical profile is aligned like this okay so here it is so in next video we will be looking for the corridor modeling okay so thank you so much have a nice day bye bye